<clears throat> and for our final robot master, we will be doing Sting Chameleon. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think chameleons have stingers. Or rhinoceros horns, for that matter. Uh, the tongue? I will vouch for the tongue, yes. Maybe Sting Scorpion? That would have been pretty cool. I think maybe uh, they need to do an anatomy lesson. Unless these robot masters are the result of, like, some, you know, bioengineering gone horribly, horribly wrong. Maybe I need to look more into the, the Mega Man canon. Are these, like, are these cyborgs? Do they have any organic parts? Or are they entirely technological? I got lucky to not get hit by the grasshopper there. So this is another level like uh, Launch Octopus's level, where there's a lot of extra stuff for you to do. Uh, this is a, a mini boss, but unlike the one in Launch Octopus's level, I'm not just fighting this for kicks, basically. I'm not just fighting this for an extra heart piece. There's actually a pretty sizable reward, and uh, when I beat him, I will unlock the last upgrade that Dr. Light so kindly hid away in this cave formation in the middle of the rainforest in the uh, Brazilian jungle, guarded by this enormous robot. Uh, but it is a, a body armor upgrade, which is actually quite useful because it cuts the damage we receive fully in half. So, uh, you know, now is probably not the best time to be getting it. If I had gotten it at, at the, uh, the outset, that probably would have been more useful over the course of the game, particularly for a new player. But, uh, you know, that's still going to come in handy as we move to the Sigma levels, where things actually do start to get a little bit tricky, and uh, I'll, I'll run a much greater risk of losing lives, which I have not. I've done no editing out, uh, except for that one death on, on Storm Eagle stage, which I almost don't even want to count, because it was so stupid. Uh, it's been otherwise relatively flawless. Well, not flawless, but it's been good. It's been good, particularly by my, my Mega Man standards. One thing you haven't seen yet is uh, this mini-boss, sometimes when he clamps to the wall, he will pull himself on that clamp towards the wall, which is why I keep jumping up on the wall to try to avoid that potential attack. Oh, so he didn't he just put it in this cave, he also buried it and then set a switch on it that would only send the capsule up after I defeated that mini-boss. Again, Dr. Light, he's my, uh, my mentor, my creator, my hero, my mentor. The wind beneath my wings. Now, if he could only put these upgrades, uh, you know, maybe in my garage, a place where I could easily access them when I needed to, uh, you know, save the world. Now, if the screen will ever let me... Yeah, thank you. Uh, there's also a heart piece, I think, down here. Yeah, okay, down here. And because we've beaten Launch Octopus's level, uh, it's actually possible to get because the water is going to make this jump doable. I'm just going to kind of suss it out here, size up what I'm going to need to do to make sure that I I don't die. Particularly after I just said I haven't really died yet. Don't want to jinx myself. Alright, yeah, I think we can make this. Let's do it. Alright, very good. Now, am I going to be able to make it back with that uh, the ceiling there? Oh yeah, it was. I had a, a pretty good pretty good opportunity there. Or pretty good uh, clearance. Now, uh, oh, that was just retarded on my part, but in any case, uh, these guys are usually much, much easier to beat. You can really see them uh, before they fall. They're those really conspicuous looking boulders that look nothing like the boulders in the background. Completely different color and everything. So you can tell they're, they're special. And really the strategy is just give them a second until they completely unfurl and then give them both barrels. Yep. Uh, I was thinking that both barrels was a misnomer. If you look at the way the X-Buster fires, actually it's got kind of a coil in it, so I think maybe there are two barrels. We're actually approaching the end of the level now, which is kind of bittersweet for me, because I really hate Chameleon Sting, or Sting Chameleon as a boss. Uh, even though I know which weapon to use, and it's the, the one you get from Boomer Kalanga, Boomerang Cutter, uh, it's just, it just doesn't jive with me, you know, it doesn't fit into my cognitive Mega Man model. So, uh, it usually takes me a long, long time. I'm usually not in risk of dying, but it's just tedious. Luckily, uh, Chameleon Sting's weapon, uh, his regular attack, or it, it's regular attack, I guess, it's primary fire. I don't find that that useful, 
but its secondary fire, when it's fully charged, is actually really useful, uh, particularly on some parts on the, the Sigma stages, because it gives you invulnerability for a while. Uh, it's a lot like the, the rolling shield, but I actually find it a little bit better because it doesn't restrict your movement. Whereas the, the rolling shield is this big cumbersome bubble. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use boomerang cutter and see. Hopefully we'll we'll make this mercifully short, but I wouldn't hold out hope. I wouldn't hold out too much hope, let's say. This, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, this guy is one of the hardest bosses to beat if you're not using the weapon that is uh, designed for him. I'm not really sure if there's a, a second weapon that we'd use on him. There usually is for uh, most of the bosses in this game, or at least uh, at least a few of them. But uh, this guy, I think you're, you're pretty much stuck with the boomerang cutter. Oh, please. The problem is I can never get the boomerang to arc in the right way. Even when I, I press up on the D-pad, it just doesn't seem to want to arc up. So we have, to, we have to catch him in these situations. Come on. Oh my god, it always comes down. Yeah, we got him once. The, it does a fair bit of damage, so once if you can get him in a pattern, you're alright. One of the things I love about uh, the boomerang cutter is that, uh, like uh, like the quick boomerang in uh, Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge, uh, any, any uh, of the bullets that don't hit the enemy come back to you, so uh, it's not easy to waste the boomerangs, let's put it that way. That one would have just spun around me ad infinitum if I had not uh, you know, stepped in to retrieve things. So things are going well at this point, just very, very slowly. Very, very, very slowly. Oh my god, that one went right... That one went through him and the other one went around him. That is ridiculous. And that one went through his tail. The game can't cut me a break. And there's another one that goes literally right around him. There's an around the world. Come on. Can I just hit him with one? Uh, good. The problem is, like, after you hit him with one, uh, he freezes for a minute, but not long enough for him to get over his invulnerability. Jesus Christ. Maybe, maybe two on this one, if I can get one to spin upwards. Nope. Luckily, you don't use this weapon too often on the Sigma levels, or that Let's Play would be 17 parts long. Yeah, okay, I got lucky on that one. I was pretty sure he was going to phase out and be invulnerable again. So yeah, we've beaten Chameleon Sting, so we will introduce ourselves to the weapon we receive. Again, not Chameleon Sting, Sting Chameleon. I make that mistake constantly. Uh, yeah, so we'll introduce ourselves to this new weapon, and then we will watch a brief interlude where, where uh, Zero will explain what is going on in the story right now. Because, I guess, uh, you know, we haven't really had much of an update over the past eight Robot Masters. So here you go. Enjoy. The password for those of you who want to play along at home.